Permalinks are one of those WordPress concepts that seems a lot more complicated than it really is. Uh, and yet it's very important to understand because it can have a big impact on the success of your blog or website. In this video, I'm going to explain what permalinks are, why permalinks are important, and why changing your permalink settings is one of the first things you should do anytime you set up a new WordPress website. So first of all, what the heck is a permalink? Uh, quite simply, it's a URL that can be used as a permanent link to any post or page on your website. It never changes. And every page and post on your site has a unique link. This makes it possible for other sites to link to your latest post, for example. Now, why are permalinks important? Well, because without permalinks, there would be no way for other websites to link to your posts. And we know that links are an important way that people discover new websites and new content on the web. So this is a way that you can get a steady stream of traffic. Permalinks make that possible. Additionally, permalinks get indexed by search engines, making it possible for people who are searching for information on the web to find your posts and pages. Without permalinks, the only thing that would be available in a search engine is your domain name, your homepage. There would be no way for search engines to index the individual pages and posts on your site. So now that you know what permalinks are and why they're important, I've got some good news for you and some bad news for you. The good news is that WordPress gives you complete control over the structure of your permalinks through permalink settings. The bad news is that WordPress's default settings, the settings you get when you first install WordPress, are very, very bad. And there's something you want to change right away. Why are they bad? They're bad because they're difficult to read. They're difficult to remember. They're difficult to type. They're difficult to speak. It means that fewer people will be linking to you. It means that search engines may have trouble indexing your website. They're just all kinds of bad. I'm going to show you how bad they are, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So here's a post on my test site, and I'm using the default permalinks. I haven't made any changes yet. And when I look at the URL in the address bar, the permanent link for this post ends in question mark p equals 160. What does that mean? That has no meaning to me. Uh, fortunately, I can make that a lot better. And to do that, I'm going to go to the permalink settings. So the permalink settings are under settings, permalinks. And this page gives me complete control of the structure of the URLs for all of my posts and pages. And there are a number of predefined permalink settings. Besides the default setting, there uh, are several that use the date in addition to the name of the post. Uh, and any one of these is going to be a better option than the default permalink setting. So if you do nothing else, setting one of these other options is going to produce better results. Uh, probably the cleanest would be to use the post name. Uh, and the post name in this case is the slug for the post in the page. And as you know from creating posts or watching the creating a post video, the post slug is taken from the post title by default. So if I go with the post name option, I'll get a shorter URL that has the uh, post title as part of the URL. Let me save this and show you what that looks like. So now when I reload this page, you can see the URL is much shorter. Uh, and there are no question marks or, or random letters that look like some kind of weird algebra equation. Uh, so this is a good URL. Now there's a slight uh, improvement on this one. Uh, depending on who you talk to, there's some thought that adding the category to the URL in addition to the post name might make for better search engine placement. Uh, so we can do that by setting up a custom permalink structure. And let me show you how that works. Basically, the permalinks are formulated using variables that act as placeholders for different bits of information about your post. So when I select the uh, day and name permalink structure, you'll see down here WordPress has placeholders for the year and the month number and the day and the post name. Uh, and if I change that to just the post name, it shortens that and we only use the URL for the post name. We only use the variable for the post name. 
There are a number of different variables that I can add in to create a custom URL structure, and I happen to know that the one for category is simply just category. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So by adding a category before post name, I'm going to save this. What I get is a URL that will include my descriptive category as well as the post name. Uh, this will be uh, a slightly longer URL, but the benefit is that it imparts more information in the URL, not only to someone who might be looking at the link without viewing the page, but also it passes more information along to search engines as well. So let's go look at this modified URL and see what it looks like on the site. So there's the modified permalink structure, and I've got the food category ahead of the title. Uh, and that uh, is probably an optimal uh, URL structure or permalink structure. And that's everything you need to know about using permalinks in WordPress.